Hello everyone, I'm Mikas from Small Academy and welcome to another video. This is the another part of our live TV streaming app development series tutorials. In the last video, we downloaded the PHP script for the live streaming app and we created the local exam server and we set up our live tv streaming dashboard in the local server so that we'll be able to access the api for our android app development right so if you are directly jumping into this video then you need to go back and watch that video because in that video i have shown you guys how to set up the php script to generate the api and from the php script only you can add the channels and categories and so on so that video is very much important so please go back and watch it now and come back to this video you can watch that video right now from the i button here okay so let's go ahead and start this video and in this from this video we will start developing our android application so as always let's go ahead and start our android studio so i have my android studio open here and i have updated my android studio to 4.2.2 and that is the latest version as of today but in the future you might be working on the higher version that's okay anyway if you are working on the version less than this then you can update right now but it's okay if you don't want to update anyway so let's go ahead and create the new project so to create the new project you already know we can create and create new project we will select the empty project for the starter and here we need to give the name i will give the name as live tv app okay so this is our application name and leave everything else as it is if you don't want to change it and we are going to give the minimum sdk as api 25 that is for nugget and it will support the 60.66 it's going to support 66.2 percent of the devices and that's fairly wide range of devices i think so click on finish and it's going to start the app building process and once that is done we will go ahead and start creating the required files for our application okay the application is ready now for the development now let's go ahead and check the main activity here and it's having the it's having this hello world text i'm going to delete it we don't need that and this main activity is going to be our home page for the application and if you remember in the demo application i have shown you guys we have the big slider here at the beginning and after that we have the category wise recycler view that displays the channels from the different categories okay so we will start by developing the custom toolbar first and after that we will start uh, developing the slider channels based on the categories and so on one by one okay so this is going to be fairly long tutorial series because it's going to uh, talk about uh, advanced things so i hope you are ready to go on this adventure anyway now we'll start by creating the custom toolbar for our application but before that i want to make sure that my emulator is working and here i'm using the pixel 4 emulator but if you want to use any other you can do so or if you want to use the physical device you can do that as well it's really up to you but i'm comfortable using emulator here so I'm going to use the emulator that is provided here. Okay, the our app is up and running now. And you can see we are having this simple application with no content inside it. Now we'll go ahead and design the custom toolbar for this application. So first of all, we need the themes that is going to hide this toolbar here, the default toolbar. So we don't need that because we are going to create our own custom toolbar. So to hide the toolbar, I'm going to create the new theme inside our theme directory here. And inside the theme directory, we have two files. We're not going to be working on this themes.xml uh, designed for this dark theme, but we'll be working on this themes.xml. So here, I'm going to create the copy of this theme and paste just below it. And I'm going to rename this to no action bar. Okay, and here I'll change that to no action bar okay now whenever this theme is applied to our application it's going to hide the toolbar so let's go ahead and see if that is going to work so go to our manifest file here 
and in the main activity I'm going to apply the new theme and style theme dot live tv app dot no action bar okay now if I run this application again it should hide the toolbar here on this application okay the toolbar is hidden now so we'll go back to the activity main here and I'm going to go to layouts or container okay and from here I'm going to drag and drop this app bar layout okay so here I'm going to click on OK and it's going to add this custom toolbar and with that custom toolbar it's going to also add the nested scroll view and constraint layout and inside this constraint layout we can design our home page but before that let's go ahead and make few changes here in the app bar layout I'm going to change this height okay so I, I want to make this app bar height same as the height of this toolbar so I'm going to go to this toolbar here and copy this property hit ctrl c and I'm gonna go back to app bar and change this with the height of toolbar okay in that way it's going to uh, display it's going to make this app bar size same as the toolbar size okay now here I want to add the logo of our application so I I'm going to drag and drop the image view just below this toolbar and here I need to select the image but I have not added the image or logo so I'm going to do that first if I go to my desktop here I have my application logo so I'm just going to copy the logo go back to my Android studio and paste the logo inside this drawable folder now I can drag and drop the logo inside this toolbar I'm going to select my logo and it's automatically going to place this logo at the middle of this toolbar okay now I also want to change the color of this toolbar here the background color so to change the background background color again I need to go to this theme.xml file and here I'm going to change this primary color and secondary color okay so I want to make primary color black and secondary color black as well actually this this one the color primary variant so let's make that black now if I run this application again it should reflect the changes that we have just made into our application okay now you can see the color primary variant is also black and the toolbar is also black okay that means we have successfully now we have added this custom toolbar with the logo at the middle of this toolbar before ending this video here I want to go ahead and add few libraries that we need for this application so as I told you guys we're going to use exoplayer to play the live streaming URL and we'll also use Picasso to load the images and Volley library to parse the JSON data. So I'm going to go ahead and add those library into our application. So to add the Volley library, we can go to this Android official Android developer website. And from there, we can copy the latest version of the Volley library. And I'm going to go to my application here and go to the builder griddle of our app module. And here we can add the library so I'm going to paste the volley library here similarly we can get the Picasso from the Picasso library and don't worry I'm going to leave this link in the video description so you can just go there and click on it and copy the required library okay so this is the latest version of Picasso library I'm gonna go to my module here and I'm going to add and the one more thing we need is a exo player library so go to exoplayer.dev and go to hello world section here and from here you can just copy this module and add to your gradle file and here you need to change the version to the latest version and to change that you can just click on this ball here and click on change to the latest version whatever the version it is now the finally we need to sync this program and it's going to download the required modules and library and add it to our application so that we'll be able to use it further in our application this is the end of this video and i hope that you are able to follow along with me and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more 
of its content because I'm going to add every video every single day. So make sure you have subscribed to our channel and so that you will not miss any of the further part of this tutorial series. And I will see you in the next video.